Hi, my name is Carlos, and in today's video, we will talk about SPF records and their significance on email deliverability. In this video, we will explore what SPF records are, why they matter, and how they can help you ensure your emails reach their intended recipients. First, what is exactly an SPF record? SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework, and it is a type of DNS record that helps prevent email spoofing and unauthorized use of your domain for sending emails. An SPF record is essentially a text entry in your domain's DNS settings that specify which mail servers are authorized to send emails on behalf of your domain. It works as a whitelist, telling receiving mail servers that the listed servers are legitimate senders of your domain. So why are SPF records important? Well, without an SPF record, your emails may be more likely to end on the recipient spam folder, or even worse, get rejected altogether. Let's see why. When you send an email, the receiving mail servers check various factors to determine if the email is coming from the right server. One of these checks is the SPF verification. The server looks up your domain SPF record to see if the sending server is authorized to send emails on your behalf. If the SPF record matches the sending server, it boosts your email's credibility, and it is more likely to pass the SPF check. This helps establish trust between servers, improving the chances of your email reaching the recipient's inbox. On the other hand, if the sending server is enlisted in your SPF records or fails the SPF check, the recipient servers may mark the email as suspicious, or even reject it outright. This can negatively impact your email deliverability and reputation. Now that you understand the importance of SPF records, let's talk about setting one up. The process may vary slightly depending on your DNS provider, but generally, you will need to access your domain DNS settings. It is where you manage your domain name. It could be your domain registrar or your web hosting provider. In some cases, your domain DNSs can be managed by specialized providers, like Cloudflare, for example. You will need to look for a section where you can add or edit DNS records and create a new TXT record. You will need to enter the SPS information using a specific syntax defined by the SPF standard. You will typically include the authorized mail servers or IP addresses that are allowed to send emails on behalf of your domain. If you are not sure about the required SPF record, I suggest you to contact your email service provider. Here, we have a couple of examples when your email provider is Microsoft 365 or Google Workspace. It is important to know that only one SPF record can be added or created. If you have several servers where your domain send emails from, you will need to include all the authorized servers in a single SPF record entry. Now, while SPF records are vital for email deliverability, there are a few additional things to keep in mind. First, regularly review and update your SPF records as your email infrastructure or provider changes. Second, be cautious when including third-party services or email service in your SPF record. Make sure that they are trustworthy or authorized to send email on your behalf. Third, remember that an SPF record alone is not enough to prevent all type of email delivery issues. It works alongside other email authentication mechanisms like DKIM or DMARC to provide more comprehensive protection against email fraud. In conclusion, SPF records play a crucial role in email deliverability by preventing unauthorized use of your domain and improving the chances of your emails reaching the inbox. So make sure to set up and maintain your SPF record to safeguard your email reputation and enhance your communication efforts. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.